Welcome guys to this video and in the last video, what we did was to create the crowd operation, create rate update delete for our contact API, as well as um, the pagination API, and as well as the search data and fetching single data. So in this video, what we are going to be doing is setting up the folder structure of our application and our Redux store. So for the folder structure of our application, we are going to be creating three major folders in our application. The first is going to be the components folder. The second is going to be the layout folder and the third is going to be the store folder. So the components folder is where all our components are going to go in. The layout folder is where all our design layouts are going to go in. And the store folder is basically where our Redux actions are going to take place. Okay, so in the store folder, we're going to have a couple of folders in the store folder. And um, the first one is going to be the action. The second one is going to be the reducer. And the third one is going to be the services. So the services is basically going to serve as um, the HTTP part of our application, but basically what sends data to our, what um, fetches data from our API that tries the HTTP request to our API and then gets the data, all right? And um, the reducer basically is going to help us manage our state, you know, kind of like manipulate our state. And um, the action is what helps us send data to our store. To be manipulated to help our reducer manipulate the state. Okay, so um, if you are still confused about basically what Redux actions, reducers, and all that are, um, you can very easily just go to the official documentation of Redux, and I have it open here. And um, you can see here it says reducers specify how the application state changes in response to actions sent to the store. So basically, the action is the one that sends. Um, the action basically sends to the store, the reducer manipulates the state. Okay, so and then the action gets the data from our services, which is our API, and then sends it to the store, and then the store to manipulate our state. And here's the action it says actions are payloads of information that send data from your application to your store. Okay, and um, I also have a tab here, which is Material UI tab, which we're going to be using. And I like Material UI because it helps to build faster and easier. Um, components in React. And here is our React application, which I've already served on port 3000. So here's our API, and here is our React application. So without any much talking, let's go straight into creating our folders. So like I said, the first folder here is going to be our components folder. And the second folder here is going to be our layout folder. And the last folder, not inside of our layout, but the last folder, is going to be our store folder. And since we are going to be setting up our Redux store in this video, we're going to focus a lot more on our store folder. So in our store folder, we're going to create three folders. The first is going to be our actions folder. Actions folder. The second is going to be our reducer folder or reducers folder. Reducers folder. And then the last is going to be our services folder. So the last is going to be our services folder. And um, we are now going to set this up properly, and basically set up our Redux store properly. So what I want to do first of all is to come over to our app.js and let me just close this a bit and just get rid of all this as we don't need them. And um, just get a bold tag, HTML bold tag, and say um, setup perfect. Save that now, head to application, and setup perfect. All right, so what we can do first of all is to create our reducers. So we're going to have three um, reducers here, and um, our reducers are going to be auth, auth um, reducer, which is going to handle authentication. The second reducer we are going to have here is going to be our contact reducer. Contact reducer. And the last reducer is going to be our root reducer. Our root reducer. Okay, guys, now we have our auth reducer, our contact reducer, and our root reducer. Um, the next thing we want to do is to um, perform a couple of, uh, basically say, um, write off the functions, basically the functions that is going to handle that so um, um normally what, what i like to do initially is just to set an initial state so i'm going to call this init state and i'm going to set this to null 
because right now we are not having any data we are dealing with. Uh, maybe later on we can now set it to an object that will have maybe a couple of things. But for now we're going to set it to null. And we're going to create our auto reducer function here. Auto reducer. And our initial state is going to be set to null, which is init state. And then we can just pass our action. And this is a fat arrow function. And what we can do here is just return our state. And after returning our state, we need to export this. So export default auto reducer. So we're going to copy this and do the same in our contact reducer. So we're going to change this from here to say contact reducer. All right, and contact contact reducer. And so um, having done this, what we can now um, do next up would be to go down to our root reducer. And basically what our root reducer is going to do is it's going to combine all our reducers and pass it to um, pass it or basically pass it to our uh, index.js, which is going to wrap our application inside of um, a provider. Um, and we're going to apply a middleware or the Redux Tonk middleware. Okay, so now let's um, create our root reducer. And to create our root reducer, we're going to need to import something that comes from Redux, which is, we are going to, which is going to help us to combine all our reducers. And this is called combine reducers. And we're now also going to need to import our auth and our contact reducer. So we're going to import auth reducer from auth reducer. And we're also going to import contact reducer. Oh my god, why am I typing this? Okay from contact reducer. Now having done that, next up we can now say is our root reducer will now be um, set to the value of our combined reducers, which is going to store our auth reducer in this alias, which we're going to call auth. And for our contact reducer, we're going to call our contact. And this is going to be our contact reducer. And this auth and contact, um, whenever we are trying to um, access this reducers in our application at any time, at any um, level, this is what we'll be using to access that. So now, having done that, we want to export. We're going to export default root reducer. Okay, guys. So now that we have done this, we can save this, and now we we'll have to go to our index.js application. And in our index.js, we're going to import a couple of things. So first of all. We will need to import our create store, which will help us to create our store, and our middleware, which will help us to, to communicate with actions that have been dispatched. So we're going to call this um, so the middleware. Why is this not bringing up any suggestion for me? This is strange. Uh, apply. Oh my god, this is strange than I, I have ever thought. I just hope I didn't make any typo here. So this is going to come from Redux. And then the next thing we are going to import is our provider, which is going to help us wrap our application and wrap our store around our application. So we're going to import our provider. And this is going to come from React Redux. And the last thing we're going to import is our root reducer. So from this is coming from our store, our reducers, our root reducer. So let's call this. Wow. I'm just surprised that it's not helping matters here. Like basically it's supposed to root reducer. Okay, so um, the next thing we want to do is to create an instance of our store. And we're going to use the create store function. And the create store function takes our root reducer and applies our middleware, passing tonk in our middleware function. And now once we have done this, we can then wrap our application inside of the provider. So let's just get this and place this in here. 
And our provider is going to take our store, which of course is the instance of our store that we have created here. And now the last action would be to save this and get down to our browser. And it tells us Tonk is not defined on line 11 of index.js. And that is because we did not import Tonk. So we're going to import Tonk from Redux Tonk. So I'm going to import Tonk from Redux Tonk. And now if we save this, get down to our browser and refresh. It tells us init state is not defined, undefined, on line one and line four of our auth reducer. So now let's just go straight to our auth reducer. It says on line one, init state is not defined. And as well as on line four of our auth reducer. And what we can do here is to make this a constant. Now save that. And it, what does it say? It tells us init state is not defined in contact. And we need to do the same thing for our contact reducer too. So we are just going to get this to be a constant. And now if we save that and refresh, setup is perfect. So we have successfully set up our Redux store. So in the next video, what we are going to be doing is we're going to design um, our login and registration form as well as the app bar and perform the action for login and registration of our user.